first. So for that, let's first open some data models. So I have a saved data model called University. So I'll just select it and open it. And this is how my data model looks. I have a set of tables. I have a management relationship implemented, and I have some attributes, domains associated with those. Now let me open another model. It's University One. I've made some changes to this model, slight changes, so that we're easily able to identify the changes between the models. So I'll open University One over here, and it opens over here. So there are a few uh, changes that we have made. Uh, there is, I have changed the last name to LST underscore name over here. So the attribute name is different over here. I've added another attribute called duration over here. So that thing would be different. Now, if we go above here to this toolbar, where we have that forward engineering option, we'll see that there's an option called complete compare. So I just need to click on that. And it gives me this, where it allows me to choose. So I have the left model chosen as the one that I have open currently, University 1. And then I have chosen the right model as the previous one that I opened, that is University.urban. So you can choose any two models, left and right, doesn't matter. Um, all right, let's do a next. So it gives you the list of all the things that you want to compare. So you can uh, compare partially. You can choose to compare only, let's say, databases. You can only choose to compare, uh, let's say, domains. So you'll be able to identify the differences between the domains. Or you can compare everything at once. For now, we'll just leave it to the default option set. The next is you can choose some objects within this set. So you can choose what you want to compare. Right, you can choose your indexes, triggers, whatever you want to compare. Everything is chosen over here. The selected objects are the default values, domains, entities, tables, and relationships. That is what we are comparing, not comparing uh, the other things, indexes, triggers, etc. You can choose whatever is needed at that time. Do a next. This is your right object selection. So what you want to compare from the left object, what you want to compare from the right object, ideally the same thing so that you can identify the differences. Next, uh, some advanced options. Uh, do you want to ignore the code commands or do you want to compare them so that would, they would come as a difference? Do you want to do that? Do you want to compare the database ID? Do you want to use the name matching, prefix owner? So you can check or uncheck as you want. And then just click on the compare button. So we'll go into the processing mode and we'll give you this. So if you open it over here, maximize this. You'll be able to see that here, this is the model two, that is university one, and this is the model one that we compare. So this we chose as our left model. That's why we have it over here. Let's make it a bigger. Let's make it a little big. So we have the two uh, models over here. We have University 1, and then we have the University. And we'll see there is this mark over here that says not equal to. And this is at the entity or table level. So any entity that has differences in it will be displayed over here. So the course identity it identified as having differences. So it has say it is showing it as not equal to. That means this entity is having differences. Well, exactly as differences, the differences between the attributes. So you have something called the duration, which is not available in this model. So this is a new column over here. Then there is something called a tutor. Now a tutor is not available in the Previous in the left model, because I've changed the name to tutor underscore name. That's why it's showing that this attribute is not available in this model. And tutor underscore name is obviously not available over here. So these are the differences it is showing. It is showing the two columns that are present. 
in the left model but not present in the right model and the one column that is present in the right model but not present in the left model. Now, another entity for which it has identified a few differences is the student entity. So student entity we can see it has some differences and it has identified the difference as uh, the left model not having the column called last underscore name and the right model not having the column called LST underscore name because I renamed it. So this is how it would give you the differences and this would help you analyze whether you want to resolve these differences and what to do with these differences, whether you have two versions, which might be the latest version, which should you use, which you should not use. Now the display that we're getting over here can be customized by going over here, what do you want to show? You want to show equal items. Let's just click over them. So it shows you the equal items. These are your default domains and default values. So these are the items. Now this is a big list of items. So whatever are the common attributes, equal attributes, it's displaying them here over here. It's displaying the indexes, which are the equal attributes and the unequal attributes because now the equal attributes are selected as well as the unequal attributes over here, not equal items. And this is show resolved items. So there, you can just click on them. There are no resolved items as done. Unaligned objects on the right, aligned objects on the left, whatever. So whatever view you need, you can have them. The most important obviously is to have the unequal items so that you can identify the differences. So there is a, it is a comparison between the two versions of the model. You can identify which is the latest valid version and then proceed with making further changes on that model. So this is how this utility complete compare works. You can just say finish and close over here. So simple. Utility is included in this toolbar along with the forward engineering and reverse engineering option. You have the complete compare utility over here. 